signature onto it. Last year, the Ministry of Gender, together with the Uganda Bureau of Statistics, with the assistance of civil society organizations, Economic Policy Research Center, and the Civil Society Budget Advocacy Group, carried out an analysis of the Uganda National Household Survey of 2012-2013 and the Uganda Demographic Household Survey of 2011 and 2016. Top of the agenda was to establish the changing trends of gender-based violence, asset ownership and employment among men and women, between 2011 and 2016. This report is important because it acts as a mirror for government and other actors to evaluate their contribution in realizing gender equity in our society. On the issue of gender-based violence, the report revealed that physical violence is more prevalent in rural areas than in urban areas, respective of gender. Findings indicated that cases reported by women dropped from 49.3% in 2011 to 46.9% in 2016. But it doesn't mean that the experience of violence has gone away. So that's another thing we shouldn't celebrate as yet. However, more men in urban areas reported cases of physical violence compared to women between 2011 and 2016, with the numbers standing at 58% and 47% respectively. Especially among the rich or the more educated men reporting increasing cases of violence uh, of both the physical and the sexual nature. However, there is something that we need to understand here. When men say they are reporting violence, what exactly are they experiencing? The leading causes of gender-based violence have been identified as follows. Poverty, alcoholism, cultural practices like early marriages, bride price and drug use among others. The report also pointed out husbands, partners, and in some cases teachers, to be the chief perpetrators of physical violence. On the issue of wealth and asset ownership, findings of the report have shown that ownership of assets by men slightly decreased due to joint ownership of assets, which rose from 24% in 2011 to 41% in 2016. However, the report revealed that women were now acquiring more assets individually due to increased female emancipation and financial empowerment. The reduction doesn't mean that they're actually buying less assets, I would imagine. It's just that probably you don't need to buy, accumulate more than before. On the issue of employment, the share of the employed population increased for men compared to women between the two survey periods. It is the responsibility of the entire country to create equal spaces for women. Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Services Janet Mukwaya notes that her ministry is to use this research to identify the present inequalities and resolve them. We depend on numbers to see how significant or not a matter is virtually on every aspect of life. Gender inequalities limit the ability of women and girls to fully participate in and benefit from the development programs in Uganda. Joyce Nakato, NTV Tonight.